Shamai and welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and some of the other markets which may be affecting it. The price of Bitcoin is at 7,665, um, it's at a high of 7,711, a low of 7,436. Uh, it didn't bounce off the um, what I thought was kind of uh, um, a natural resistance um, uh, area from from the, the from the arc, you know, from, from the arc it was kind of the, the Bitcoin price was making. I was I was expecting it to bounce off seven thousand nine hundred, and then maybe try and break through eight thousand again. Um, it actually popped through there, um, but in saying that, it, it didn't go that low, and the the the, the the, the drop was was lower than the previous drop, which then starts to build, you know, something of a, an ascending triangle, which if it did would give us the extra 2000 or close to $2,000 we need to take it up to 10K, um, which I think is, is perfectly plausible. Uh, um, yeah, so uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's, it's although it's dropped, I, I wouldn't say that, you know, we're, we're bearish. I, I say that we're, we're looking pretty bullish, to be fair. Um, so let's have a little look at the news feed. New Zealand blockchain group, uh, group, group <laughs> goes to government for strategy. Um, blah blah blah. There's a lot of crap in the um, in the news feed today. Despite crypto rally pause, this billionaire still thinks Bitcoin uh, expects Bitcoin at 250k. A couple of um, Bitcoin groups ago, I did say that you know I expected Bitcoin to go to sort of 260,000. Uh, if you look at the last move up from three hundred dollars to twenty thousand um, dollars, and then you just you know you divide twenty thousand by three hundred, and you end up with I don't know whatever it is sixty or sixty or seventy or whatever it is, and then you times you know, the bottom, which was you know, sort of three thousand dollars for us, um, uh, um, by that amount, and you end up with you know two hundred fifty thousand dollars, so or two hundred sixty thousand um, dollars. Uh, so I think it's perfectly reasonable. It's done that in the past, so, so to not, you know, and it's done that in the past a fair few times. It's, it's made a, a, a similar, um, similar, similar gains um, uh, ratio wise. So ignoring, you know, a quarter of a million quid sounding like a lot of money, then I, I can't see why you shouldn't expect that to happen again. Um, once upon a time, a dollar um, Bitcoin seemed like a lot of money. So. Um, yeah, so expect the unexpected. In saying that, though, it could all go to zero and um, or drop down significantly. So don't invest more than you're willing to afford, uh, uh, more than you can afford to lose. Um, let's have a little look at. Well, actually, yeah, let's have a look. Oh yeah, U.S. Copyright Office didn't recognise Craig Wright as Satoshi Nakamoto. That's fairly obvious. So I got an article on that up, uh, which we'll have a little look up in a moment. Despite dump, analysts are still bullish on Bitcoin heating up for 10K. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's it. if it is an ascending triangle we're building, then that could give us enough momentum to get to 10K. Particularly if, if we can, say, start our, our triangle from sort of here. Well, maybe not 10, maybe we've got one and a half. So we're close to 10K. So we, I imagine we'll break through 8K and then start get up to 10K quite quickly or 9,000 9, um, 9, uh, close to 10k and then we'll just be bouncing off it as we have been bouncing off 8,000 for, for a little while so um, uh, yeah uh, Eric Swalwell is accepting crypto donations for bid for US presidency if you want to have the edge as a um, as a, a you know a, a, a potential candidate for the presidency if you want to look technically competent then it makes sense to embrace new technologies so um, I think you know any presidential candidate who has some wherewithal on trying to appeal to you know the technocrats in society, um, accepting something like cryptocurrency or, or you know specifically Bitcoin. I, I think it's you know it's it's a why not you know you're only ever going to get some donations as so. Um, right, let's have a look at Ethereum. So Ethereum's just pretty much mirrored um, Bitcoin. Uh, it's not so much of an ascending triangle, but it could be. Could be could be something of a flag maybe um, or, or penance a sort of flag penance thing going on, um, but I wouldn't say it's an ascending triangle. So Ethereum's at two hundred and thirty nine dollars. It's had a high of two hundred and forty five and a low of two hundred and twenty nine dollars. Um, not really much to report. Uh, I would say yeah, there's not really much to report. It looks like yeah, it looks like a sort of flag penance thing. It still looks quite bullish, um, but obviously dependent upon Bitcoin. Monero, Monero's price is $83.7. It's had a high of $84.2 and a low of $80.8. Um, Monero's 
pretty much doing the same, um, although I would say that Monero maybe looks a little bit more bullish. Um, and I, I definitely think it's sort of bouncing off its, its lower um, uh, resistance of this the, the channel it's, which it's been building. So, um, yeah, I expect all this stuff to go up, but it could all go down. And it is all dependent on Bitcoin. Litecoin, again, is kind of doing that quite stable rise upwards, um, unlike the other ones, which is which is really interesting, I think, um, which has been doing over the past uh, the past three months. So, um, yeah, we'll continue to, to see whether Litecoin continues to do that. It's at $87.5. Uh, it's had a high of 88.3 and it's had a low of 84.6. So, yeah, not really much to report on the Bitcoin um, and related cryptocurrency type market. Um, now we dropped a little, but we're still looking pretty bullish. Gold, what's going on with gold? Gold's up 0.6%. Um, uh, so just, just, just very recently hold on uh yeah the past um the past couple of hours it's it's popped up quite significantly actually um so i wonder if it, if it will kind of repeat this dead cat bounce which you had uh well it's not a dead cat bounce oh yeah it was a dead cat bounce if it will repeat that um that that pattern uh so yeah so that, that's quite interesting so i wonder why that is um stocks u.s future slump as trade war impact spreads to europe okay so maybe it's more concern of a little bit of extra concern over the trade war stuff and then people are are finally buying up some gold to hedge themselves gold prices little changed after uh, patient fed minutes so um when was that that was 12 hours ago so i suppose the, a lot of these articles aren't accounting for the little pump we just had in the past um past couple of hours so be interesting to see where gold takes that um is there any sort of obvious patterns which are being created there <sighs> not really i mean it just looks like a kind of downward ascend uh, descending triangle to me but uh we'll see we'll see you know good luck to them uh what we've got here so we've got the um the dow jones so uh the dow jones is has taken a little tumble downward um um and it looks like it's uh it's building a um uh, what do you call it? Symmetrical triangle, um, but on the downside. So I imagine it's going to probably go down a little bit further. Um, and this, I guess, this is off the yeah. So the Dow, the Dow slumps because China is talking tough again. So you know, China's not afraid to fight back, um, um, and they have the power to fight back too. And it's probably politically the best thing they can do. Um, so yeah, so we'll just have to see how that that plays out. Um, right, let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit, see how Bitcoin land's doing. Don't invest recklessly. Very true. Wrecked copyright. Uh, US Copyright Office says it does not recognize Craig Wright Satoshi. He's just a fool. Um, fake cryptocurrency wallet. Trezor discovered on Google Play is phishing app. Uh, so be careful of those wallets you download. Um, um, you know, when you're experimenting with wallets on your Android phone, uh, they're not vetted particularly well and you might download one which seems legit but is actually just like you know trying to steal your your, your money um obviously don't have too much um bit, too many bitcoins on your on your phone anyway because that's uh, that's silly uh okay so uh the hodl graphic here like a bit of propaganda one of my proletariat brothers there refusing to accept the fiat um uh bum, 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 bum. Bulgaria betting on Bitcoin uh, holds over 200,000 BTC in reserve. I think I remember this. This was a few years ago. Bulgaria from the, the, the uh, money they'd seized or the Bitcoin they'd seized from uh, criminal gangs uh, mounted up to about 200,000. And I think at the time, like it could have paid off half of their country's debt or something. Um, but it sounds to me like sounds here like they've, they've held on to it, which is probably a very wise thing to do. Um, it, it may be the next sort of Saudi Arabia if they if they continue to hold two hundred thousand coins. So, um, yeah, good luck to Bulgaria. Um, how Bitcoin harness harnesses the power of big numbers. Plan on watching that a little bit later. It looks pretty cool. Digital scarcity in the banana. It's a nice graphic explaining how um, uh, digital scarcity um, uh, uh, and relating it to real world scarcity. I suppose of of of. of you know giving giving an item to somebody else and then not being able to copy the item whereas most digital things you can copy so you know bitcoin is the first uh digitally scarce thing which had ever existed so that's, that's a pretty crazy crazy thing to think of um now there's you know arguably some other digitally scarce things but they're, they're still nowhere near as digitally scarce as bitcoin is 
Um, dum dum dum. Jack Dorsey and Square are making mass Bitcoin adoption inevitable. I think that's very true. If you think Twitter, you know, it was a lot of people view Twitter as the the um, the uh, the catalyst for for getting Trump, someone like Trump, elected. So if you can get someone like Trump elected, then I'm sure it can, you know, help promote Bitcoin uh, to the masses. Yeah, so that's about it for Reddit. There's some pretty cool posts. It's quite quite neutral, really. Not much um, price. Uh, not much. Uh, uh, not many people thinking about the price, which is which is good. Uh, so yeah, so here's a uh, what's this Crypto Globe, um, and they've got an article. Lo most of all the Bitcoin um, uh, news uh, websites have articles on this. Um, maybe it'd be, it'd be interesting to see what Coin Geeks got on it. U.S. Copyright Office didn't recognise Craig Wright's Toshi Nakamoto, so as we all knew. Um, he just filed a form, paid fifty dollars or whatever, um, and then used that to to try and uh, embellish and, and and create some FOMO for for, for BSV. To, so he probably so he can fill his own bags. Um, uh, and there's a nice little quote here. So you know, regardless of uh, the fact that they they wouldn't you know just by him filling out a form, then recognize his legitimate copyright over the Bitcoin white paper, but. There's a nice quote here, which is, in a case uh, in which a work is registered under a pseudonym, the copyright office does not investigate whether there is provable connection between the claimant and the pseudonymous author. So, yeah, obviously, if you're if you're writing something under a pseudonym in the first place and it's very ambiguous, then it's a lot of work for them to... to and they're not going to back your claim, so... Because you can't even prove that you're that person. Um, despite crypto rally pause, this... Bitcoin. Uh, so this is this is the article which we saw before the the two hundred and fifty k article. I think that's fair, but it could go lower, much lower. Um, uh, but once the the FOMO kicks in, um, and then you know once we have some some more um, hysteria and fud in the markets, and uh, there's all these big uh, um, uh, Wall Street firms and investment firms which. Uh, uh, want to want to invest their money into in, in, they want to diversify their portfolio and they suddenly get the on ramp onto Bitcoin. Say there's an ETF which has been approved, then you know the 250k thing seems very plausible. Right. So um, the most important news, uh, which um, which I, 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 I've made sure to cover today, is that in eight days, 19 hours, and 29 minutes, uh, we will have the Bitcoin Lightning Hack Day in Munich. Um, all the Lightning Hack days have been absolutely phenomenal. They, um, they're, they're, they're very uh, um, uh, productive uh, in that you have lots of people who are really interested in the tech in one room. Well, not lots of people, actually. A relatively small crowd compared to most Bitcoin conferences. And uh, I've been to all but one of the Lightning Hack days. And I think I heard the price mentioned maybe once. Um, and that was when I went to New York. And I think that's probably because we were outside looking at the, the Bitcoin bull on Wall Street. And then we talked about the Bitcoin price. So, um, so yeah, people really don't care about the price there. It's all about the tech. And then when you meet the people who are working um, on Lightning, and then you meet people like Christian Decker, and you hear some of their talks, and you suddenly realize, well, so you see someone like Roast Beef present, uh, you realize that the... the, the the sheer intellect of the people working on Bitcoin, and that's is really what gives it gives it value. So, an excellent um, uh, if if the last uh, Lightning Hack days or anything to go on, it's an absolutely excellent event if you're able to make it. If you pay for a ticket on Lightning, it's only five euros. Um, I think it's like a hundred euros if you don't pay on Lightning. Uh, so you know, it's not that hard to install a Lightning wallet and pay on Lightning. Um, yeah, so so if you if you're able to get to that. And then the other news is that uh, last night I released a tutorial on uh, how to build a shop. It took about half an hour to build a, a WordPress WooCommerce shop. And I used OpenNode's excellent plugin, WooCommerce plugin, to accept Bitcoin um, uh, Bitcoin payments. And Bitcoin payments only, and um, uh, preferably uh, Lightning payments. But you can buy a whole bunch of stuff on here. Um, I'm going to put more things on here. So a lot of this relates to the like the, the these little uh, packs of components here they relate to the tutorials I do so if you buy one of these packs of components you can like pretty much do like you know seven or eight of the tutorials which I've made like the the Bitcoin point of sale and um, price the paper price checker and uh, a whole bunch of whole bunch of things um, this is like the base microcontroller I use in all my projects uh, it's a little bit overpriced here but it's kind of a way of people supporting the show so um, 
Um, but you know, that's overpriced, whereas this is probably underpriced. So you can buy a pre-inked Bitcoin stamp. Um, and I, they, they've got so much ink in these things. I swear you could ink like, you know, at least a couple of hundred bills. Um, uh, and you can buy one of those for, for, for one British pound, obviously paid on, on lightning. So I think that's like a dollar fifty or something. Um, so if you buy, and I think to ship to the US, it's like four four dollars for me. So if you buy, you know, twenty or thirty of these things, um, then um, it's a it's a pretty good bargain, you know. Um, I have one of these uh, um, self thinking Bitcoin stamps. So I originally I bought these, and they were um, they were considerably more expensive. So that's the sort of price you would probably pay if you had one of these commissioned yourself. So to be able to pick up some Bitcoin stamps for for a pound is 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 a bargain. Um, obviously, don't go stamping fiat because that is illegal and you shouldn't do that. It's bad. Um, uh, so, yeah, so that's enough um, um, shilling. Uh, I hope you enjoy your Thursday. Sorry the show is a little bit late. Um, I had a busy morning. Um, I'll see you tomorrow morning nice and early. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah have, a good, uh, have a good afternoon.